remembered um, some people wrote in, the customer, when he brought me this car, it came with quarter panels, and some people wrote in and said, those aren't for a 67 Mustang, because they don't have the, um, the area cut out for the scoops in the side. But they are a 67 Mustang or 68, they're just a universal quarter panel. Customer doesn't want to buy parts that he's already got, so he wants me to use what he's got, but in order to use them, we have to do this. So, and now what I'm talking about is scoops. Here's, I kept it. If we look here, under my trusty outdoor workbench, there's the quarter panel off the driver's side. And see how you've got these air vent scoops? I don't know what they called them back then. Someone will correct me and, and the way we go, but either way, the factory quarters had them. These quarter panels do not. As you can see right here, they come complete. And like I say, someone wrote in and said they're not for a 67, but they are, they're just, they're universal. They're cheap, they're nasty ones. They're, they're good quality metal, but they're just a cheaper universal panel, right? Because if they were a good panel, they wouldn't stop here. They'd go all the way up into the sail panel. But he doesn't need it up in there, so we're gonna use what he's got. So what I'm doing here today is I'm cutting this out because I have to fit this in, all right? So again, what I did was I cut on the, when I cut it out of the, of the other side when I was cutting it out here I cut along this line this ridge line I cut that because it's a it's a stronger point right there for me right now anyway so it wouldn't flims around and now what I'm doing is I've cut out a smaller hole to set this in so then I can do my tape line or felt pencil line or whatever you have that's handy and I can cut it out properly to put it in and butt weld it and what I'll do is I'll only put a couple little butt welds in it and then I'm going to fit the quarter panel to the car. And I'll finish this off when it's on the car. But I want to get it tacked in place right now. The reason I won't finish it off here is I put a couple little stitch welds or you know, butt welds on there just to try it on the car to make sure that everything is lining up inside the car itself because you have to be able to get through these to the rear quarter glass. So if I'm slightly out, could throw stuff off. So I want to get it exact. And again, measure many times don't be afraid to measure write it down keep track and away you go so that's what i'm up to here today so i will continue on and see how far along we get okay so here's the next step so you can see i've laid it down in here spot welded it every little bit now don't worry if there's a bit of a gap you want a gap because when you weld metal together you don't want it tight because it expands so it don't worry about this gap here but there it is, it's fitting in there nice, and I did set it back up on the car to make sure everything was okay. I couldn't pick the quarter panel up and film and do all that at the same time and show you. So there we go. That's in there pretty damn solid now, so I can just leave it alone and finish it off when it's on the car. Or if I want, I could finish it off here on the table. But, on to our next step now. So now our next step is we're going to grind all the edges along here. We're going to set this back on the car and we're going to mark where we want to drill holes because we're going to obviously... Um, plug weld it onto the car and I've done all along here this is your wheel opening and obviously I'm going to do some grinding on the back side of this if you can see that I'm going to grind along in the back side here and the reason is so keep in mind now what I'm telling you along here the reason is we're going to drill holes in there right we're going to drill holes but we're going to set that one more time on the car now you can see here I've ground this to metal because what's going to happen is when we put that quarter panel on, these two are going to sandwich together and that's where we're going to plug weld it together. This you're going to weld from the inside. This here, now don't forget I haven't cut all this off yet. See how the lip stops here? So we're going to weld it along here with some plug welds, maybe the odd stitch. So we're going to do there. See the only place actually that the car is going to be butt welded along is going to be up and across in here wherever I decide to cut it and then of course the back is the same thing this all comes off you can see it's that's still the old quarter I haven't taken off and it plug welds in but of course before we can even do any of this I'm jumping the gun I do have rust repair to do down in here so this video may not get on to me putting the quarter panel on but I'm showing you the next steps and of course obviously that's prepping the quarter to go on but you want to get in here and clean all this up and spray this with either you can put some rust mortar on there, you can put some rust paint on there, you can put some POR, whatever you decide to use. There's many products out there, there's Eastwood products, whatever you do, spray it with something. We always spray it up in here. Okay, so I always get that sprayed up and cleaned up, get the glass out and spray all up in there and clean it up because you're never gonna get back up in here again once the quarter's on. 
and obviously go around and take off like stuff like this like these decals and shit like that pull it off right I'm not worried about spraying underneath because that'll do later when the car is up on the hoist so I kind of jumped around there a little bit but what I say what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean finish cleaning up all the edges where this is going to get welded you know we're going to we're going to grind all this down we're going to drill our holes where we need to be but we're going to fit this on there one more time so we need we can decide we want to drill I usually drill when I drill holes, I drill every like inch to inch and a half, or usually every inch and a half, sometimes two inches. I don't go further than two inches. Inch and a half is a common number to go there. But I just want you to see that this piece is in. It fits good. And uh, it did actually save the customer money. He could have went out and bought the proper quarters with maybe this in. But he had these quarters. They came with the car. They didn't cost him nothing. All it was was a matter of cutting this out and putting it in. So, I mean, really, at the end of the day, he's probably going to spend, honestly, for me to cut that and get that all welded in, he's probably going to spend an hour and a half for me to get that all done. Because you got to take your time welding it. You can't just weld it up solid. If I just cut it out and weld it up solid, seriously, I could do it in less than an hour. But because you got to spot it, spot it, spot it, spot it, maybe blow it down with some cool air, you're going to spend a good hour and a half cutting it, welding it, putting it in, and cleaning the welds up. So, there we're at. That's where we're at right now on this old beast. And uh, we'll see if we can add a little more to this video here in a bit. Okay guys, so I did a little rust repair up in the top corner here. Um, there's a little spot in here and there's a little spot here. I did some, so that's done. Obviously we still got, like I say, we got to spray in here and address this issue. But what I did was I took that outer lip off that was running along here. And like I say, there was rust down here, which I addressed. Now, I showed you how the quarter panel wraps into the door jam. You can see where it was, spot welded on. Took care of all that, got that off, but we got some rust here. See how this jogs out? Well, this panel should come all the way down to there. So I'm gonna cut, you can see there's even rust here. So I'm just gonna cut this right out of here, replace this piece. And then we're gonna spray all this up with our rust treatment. And then we're gonna get ready to rock and roll and put a quarter panel on. So. Because we're at that stage, I'm going to leave this video at that point, and uh, we will continue this and make a part two, showing the quarter go on. All you guys out there that liked the video, remember when. Thank you so much. It's been a long time since I've done one. I know there's a lot of new subscribers out there. Normally, the remember when videos are basically on one subject only, like basically maybe car shows, driving theaters, or whatever. And uh, I kind of jumped all over the place yesterday because I know I had a, new, a lot of new subscribers and I wanted to get their opinion of what they thought of Remember When. So hopefully I'll remember it all. Um, it just kind of sometimes, you know, you got to do those things because uh, it's the things from our past that keep us happy. We don't realize it when we're young, but as you get older, you stop and you remember things from the day and you kind of put, it puts a smile on your face and that's a good thing. So hey, just like that's a good thing, it's always a good time at Old Time Garage. Thanks for watching. See you later.